shout at the same time and we're going to get it. Future Flash. Future Flash? Future Flash. It's a Flash episode of Tom Green. We were in it. How can yeah, we? I don't know. I lose all my lines. So. But so when, when he takes on a role like that, are you super tempted to like rib him back? Or, you, or do you have to be like, no, Tom's directing the episode. He's in charge now. Or is um, it like, this is our chance? Well, it's Kavanaugh. So like, were you, are you in that episode? You are. Yes. Yeah. Are you okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Flash. You're yes, I am. Yeah, 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 I can't. Team Flash, of course. Right. No, he, it's, he, he, we have a. I personally have a lot of respect for Tom Cavanaugh. So, I mean, when he takes the reins, you show him that respect. But he doesn't stop being Tom Cavanaugh. So we're still all gonna just kind of joke around all day. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it was hands down the most fun I've ever had making an episode of Flash because he did his homework. He more than knew what he was doing what he wanted to accomplish with the episode and yeah it was just that you know we had fun the whole time it was, it was great yeah make no mistake as as much of a buffoon as he can be he's by far one of the most um well talented actors and just he he understands the world of well television and the nature of these shows he knows all the characters inside out one of the great things was having him direct you know, sometimes you get a director in and they don't know the show as well as, as well, it's impossible to know as well as him. Um, so he sort of manages to uncover every, uh, every opportunity you get to do something different or something funny. And yeah, being Kavanaugh, he manages to find some, some humor in a lot of places where other people probably would, would not. What happens when a director who is like a super fan nerd, like Kevin Smith shows up and says, hey, I want to direct an episode of your show. Kevin the first time, yeah, give it up for Kevin Smith. <laughs> He, uh, the first time he showed up was pretty, I mean, it's been special, he's done two, two now, and, right, yeah, three? Three, he's done three, yeah, and the, the first time he showed up, especially, it was, he couldn't help himself, like, he would applaud after every single rehearsal, like, like, and the, which would make the crew, you know, kind of excited, and most of everybody, I think, on our crew and in the cast is, has been fans of his work. But especially the crew, you could feel the kind of excitement the whole time he was around. Um, and I think he actually, when I put on the suit for the first time with him, he cried. He, he did. I had a tear. He actually pulled, like, pulled he, out. Yeah, I think he, <laughs> yeah. Um, but one of the first scenes I shot with him was a scene with John Wesley Shipp. Um, I want to say when John Wesley Shipp was still playing Henry Allen. It, yeah, and it was Barry and Henry, and he was like, he was sobbing, like, it, it, every single time. And, and then he would just go, give up for them, like, after every take. And applaud after every take. He just loves what he does. And it's also contagious. I mean, it's great to work with. Do you take that as a sign of, like, I think we got it in this take? Or, like, we, we need to go again? <laughs> yeah, no, if, if, if your director like you is did a pretty good job after every take with Kevin Smith, yeah. Uh, I'm curious, what do you admire most about your characters? Um, it's probably... Barry's optimism that, yeah, I think he's, you know, struggled to hold on to the last season with what was, he was dealing with, with impending death this year. Um, uh, but uh, his, his optimism, I think, is something I've tried to kind of weave into my life the last few years, for sure. Yeah, there's lots of, lots of love about Barry. Um, uh, <laughs> he's highly intellectual. I like his dress sense. He dresses really well. He's got a nice face. He's got a nice yeah. His face is amazing. Oh, yeah. Dreamy. Super dreamy. Classic. Uh, no, I do like his sort of um, cynicism, slightly, uh, slightly the very British sort of, you know, um, false sense of, of, of wit, really. He's quite dry, isn't he? I like that. I actually, I actually think, without spoiling anything, I was campaigning. Can I set? I yeah, can so set talk about this. Well, yeah. look, pretty early on, it was apparent <laughs> that Grant and Tom were getting on rather well, uh, and Barry and Julian quickly became Barulian. <laughs> Barulian. We were yeah, shipping was, each yeah. other together. We started a ship. <laughs> and I, I, I was, I was very passionate. This isn't weird. This isn't weird. I told you. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Right. You, will, you will learn that this is actually not a weird conversation to be having. <laughs> I'm getting a bit nervous now. Yeah. But yeah, I genuinely thought it would be a lovely twist if, towards the end of the season, Barry and Julian 
ran off together. Well, well, hold on. Hold on. We thought it would be interesting to reveal some kind of other, like, feelings, yeah. potentially. Yeah, yeah, just like, for, like, a little undertone. Yeah, that Barry was going to probably reject, mind you, but... Uh, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> But yeah, we thought it'd be kind of funny, or fun rather, to go in that direction because we have such fun chemistry. But they weren't—they didn't bite. Oh, cool. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't go in it straight away, so. There's future seasons to look forward. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Yeah. It's also you do have a show where you know there's multiple like realities. You should just make a pitch for like. That's true. Like Earth Five, where like we've been together for 30 years. <laughs> 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 I feel like it'd be like the children. odd couple, Earth Five, like you two together. You know, it'd be a good spin off of it. Yeah, this is why I like these things. It's like a melting pot of ideas. <laughs> this is a good. It's a good brainstorm session. It is, it is. Um, I saw. <laughs> I saw a description of your character, and one of the like skills listed was deception, which is the like, most bizarre trait I feel like someone could have. But I'd like to know if you could describe each other using a few adjectives. What would it be? Hard to describe yourself. Uh, I mean, speaking of characters, it's a little bit, it's a little bit. No, 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 like each other's people. Oh, um, <laughs> I could certainly, you know, what's, what's the word you used for very? You said optimism. Mm -hmm. Or uh, I've never, in a, uh, without blowing too much smoke up his backside, I've no. never seen the workload that these, well, that, that that Barry, that Grant has to deal with, really, over the last ten months. It is absolutely extraordinary. <laughs> the amount of hours that this man has to work, let alone to ha come out with a, a TV show. And even more remarkable that it's a good TV show. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're doing an episode every week, more or less, and they're having to churn it out at quite a rate. And I've never, not for a minute, seen this man's enthusiasm or passion for it or, or, or you know, his patience for it waver. And, and really, that sets the tone. The moment Grant gives You're up. being too kind. No, I'm, I'm being genuine. <laughs> Trust me. The moment that you give up and the moment you say sod it, then the rest of us do the same thing. And that never happens. So it uh, makes it very easy for the likes of me, who's only come in for half a day here or bits and pieces. So I get super excited to be part of Team Flash. What can I say? She has a long way to describe me. Grant, there's something I want to ask you. <laughs> Will you take me back to season four? Please. You, you realize you either just broke the internet or became a meme, like, right here. I think I'm rolling my eyes when you did that. Like, all of the pictures, probably. Um, you, we never answered the question. Uh, yeah. I know it's better. What was the question? I don't even remember. That. I don't know, that yeah. Works. I couldn't possibly use one word to describe Tom Felton, though. He doesn't have yeah. a few. He used yeah. many. He used many nice words. That's, yeah. <laughs> It's enough nice words, isn't it? Let's get to the okay, dirt. Okay, let's, let's get, get to the dirt. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I'd like to know what inspires you? Well, I mean, many things, yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, the, 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 honestly, on a daily basis with the show, the, it's the crew that inspires me to, to like as you say, I mean, it's hard hours. To, they work longer hours than me. And it's, uh, they've been there every single day, and it's not, you know, they don't have the luxuries that I have throughout the day to go back to my trailer with my, my dogs on a, you know, a hard filming day. They're staying on set. Yeah, they're somewhere around. Um, they're, they're, they're somewhere around down the street. Um, <laughs> go get them. Yeah, I'll be right back. See you in a bit. Um, He's really fast. <laughs> I checked on them already. They're, they weren't interested. daily process for filming, yeah, the, the most inspiring thing for me to keep going is the crew and just how hard they work, but um, I, I mean, I'm inspired by too many things, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, half of it to me is what, it's, it's art, isn't it? It's watching stuff, it's listening to stuff, it's uh, it's hearing what other people have been watching, and, and uh, you, know, you know, that thing where someone comes in and they're like, oh my god, have you seen this episode of this? And then that sort of spreads around, and before you know it, you're uh, heavily inspired to write your own thing, or, you know, to... to like Tom and Grant are doing with the um, with the short, you sort of mm -hmm. spring off of each other. And that really did come from us, just like the way we joke around yeah. like that. Like we have, it's very annoying with what our style of comedy. Um, we literally just create bits that no one, we keep doing until someone laughs. Like, 
Um, do you I, adjust them or do you just we kind of mentally just wear drive people it down? Home until someone's like, ha ha ha! <laughs> Stop. <laughs> um, so that's kind of the short. So you'll love it. Um, you'll have to watch it a hundred times. Yes. But <laughs> um, how do you, do you disconnect? Do you like watch movies and TV, or do you find that it's like too close to what you're doing every day? To no, I mean that's what I, was, I mean what things that inspire me. Yeah, I watch movies and TV constantly, and things that I love, and I'm like, why aren't we doing that? Like that's like you know it's stuff. To, yeah, I always want to see something that I love to push us to be better. Yeah. Yeah. We we're never uh, never sitting on the laurels, are we? It's always constantly. Well, you are anyway. Always trying to find some way of. Uh, Improving the show or making it, uh, you know, a little bit more current or more rambling now, aren't I? What, what was the, uh, <laughs> inspiration? Can we go back to that? We can go back to that, sure. No, I'm good for that one. Okay, all right. <laughs> good. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, how do you disconnect? Like, what do you do in your free time? PlayStation. What you playing now? Um, I play a lot of, like, sports, video games, but I'm playing some other stuff, too. Like, I, yeah, uh, Uncharted 4, like, all the Uncharted. <laughs> I've never been into like first person shooters, but I'm getting into them recently. I'm getting into them now. Like I'm <laughs> Yeah. You know, it's my own time. Yeah, no, it's a lot of video games. And, yeah. It's annoying for my girlfriend probably. And dogs. Dogs, yeah. I hang out with the dogs a lot. I'm a homebody. Everything I do to disconnect is in my apartment mostly. Other than walking the dogs around the block, that also happens. It's like a sort of star lounge quartet, isn't it? Where you've got like, you know, all your screens, you know, all the necessary apparatus with it. It's like that. <laughs> Shall I go on? Go on. <laughs> no, this is you and Tom. I'm so good at it. Uh, I like to play guitar. I like to be outside, um, you know, shooting the talking nonsense and just generally, uh, yeah, goofing around, to be honest. Skateboard a lot. Skateboarding, meeting strangers is always a fun one, you know. I like to He's serious, he loves to meet people. Yeah. I'm more scared of that. Yeah. <laughs> well actually I was try I was I was I'm always trying to encourage you in that regard. You are, you are. I'm here because of you actually. Well, <laughs> I'm, I know it's true. I I, I mean I, I've been you know, it's I've never been to one of these.